traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Your next stop on... Here is Sierra Campbell, a third year FSU student who dreams of becoming a lifeguard. She spent the past few weeks studying and tons of hours swimming and preparing for her big day. And in just a few hours, she would take the exam to become a certified lifeguard. But what she doesn't know is that she will be faced with an ethical dilemma that will cause her to make the biggest decision of her lifeguard career. How do you think you did? I tried my best. You'll be fine. Appreciate it. While taking the exam, Sierra notices that Dr. Floyd has changed Patrick Aiken's test answers. Sierra is now stuck with the ethical dilemma to speak up and tell the American Red Cross that the lifeguard director is changing future lifeguard exam answers. Will she speak up or will she remain silent? The two theories in this situation are deontological and teleological. It's deontological because the lifeguarding instructor doesn't care about the consequences. And it's teleological because Sierra has to make a decision. Should she tell on the lifeguarding instructor or should she keep quiet so that nobody gets in trouble? The first stakeholder is individual conscience. I chose Dr. Floyd and Sierra. With Dr. Floyd, she decided to cheat without thinking of the consequences that may occur after she erases uh, Patrick answers. Then you have Sierra who's torn because she understands that people lives are at risk if a lifeguard is chosen who can't pass the test. She's also torn because she feels that Dr. Floyd may change her answers and she wants to sincerely pass the test. Then you have the object of moral judgment and I chose FSU, Dr. Floyd and Patrick. With FSU, they may lose funding from the state. They may also use students, specifically swimmers. And then with Dr. Floyd, you know, she may lose her job and never become a lifeguard again. Then you have Patrick, who may become a lifeguard but couldn't pass the test, so he's going to put himself and other swimmers at risk. Then you have the institutions. I chose um, the American Red Cross and FSU. Moving on to financial supporters, you have the state of Florida, the American Red Cross, and students and parents who also pay tuition. Next, moving on to professional colleagues, you have other lifeguard directors and staff members that represents the Florida State University. And finally, you have society, which consists of the student bodies, the surrounding communities, and everyone else who might depend on the lifeguard assistant. Dr. Floyd, I saw what you did and I don't agree with it. I'm going to tell on you. Patrick needs to take the exam just like everyone else. Sierra, our moral agent, decided to finally do the right thing and report Dr. Floyd to the American Red Cross. This has been an episode of The Ethics Zone. I'm Sierra Campbell. I play lifeguard number one. I'm Janelle Floyd. I'm the lifeguarding instructor. I'm Lucre Mitchell. I'm the videographer editor. I'm Patrick Aiken. I play lifeguard number two. I'm Keetron here, and I'm your speaker. We're group number one. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.